man, you already know that this video is about to get hype after that intro. What is going on, YouTube? The Assist Man. And inside of this video, I'm bringing you guys a Call of Duty Black Ops 2 gameplay on the map Nuketown because, you know, I love it. And it just so happens that the other day and still ongoing, there is 24-7 Nuketown back on Call of Duty Black Ops 2. So you know I had to jump on and play for a few hours? Why not? But did you see that intro? Have you ever seen a 360 no scope, quick scope, shotgun, quad fury kill game winning kill cam? I sound like one of them dudes in MLG. I should be on phase. But no, no, all bullshit aside, that was the most sickest shotgun kill I've ever had in my life. And no, that wasn't planned. I was not trying to do that 360 no scope. I was just running out there at the end of round one in domination of this game. Happened to just mop and drop up like three or four dudes. And then I knew that there was a dude behind me and I hit a spin move. Just so happened to fire the trigger and hit that 360 no scope, quick scope shotgun kill. And I had to hit him with that, mom, get the camera. But let's get into the topic of this video. It amazes me. It seriously amazes me. And at the same time makes me sad, man. And it makes me kind of disappointed. Because my last video I just put out the other day, I told you guys, hold on. Let me go ahead and camp and wait on this noob like Chris Smooth. All right, look at these guys running past me. They don't even see me. I missed them. But that doesn't mean I wasn't going to go back and kiss them. But just a video I put out the other day. And there's a triple. And there's a quad. There, uh, fuck it. Anyway, <laughs> just a video I put out the other day, I asked you guys, do you still play Call of Duty? Because I told you that I'm losing interest in, in it, and I barely even play anymore. As a matter of fact, this game that you're watching right here, this is like the first time I played since I made that video, which was like, you know, the gameplay for that was recorded over a week ago. I ain't even turned on Call of Duty. But my homeboy told me that it's double XP, Nuketown all week long. Shout out to you, Jovi. So I got on, and I played for about two or three hours. But I asked you guys, you know... Do you still play Call of Duty? And the responses I got, first of all, I want to say thank you to you guys for all the likes on that video and all the comments, man. I really do appreciate it as always. But the response that I got on that video kind of shockingly blew my mind. Because a lot of you guys have been subscribed to me for, you know, a year now. And I know I know some of you guys are really call of really diehard Call of Duty players and diehard Call of Duty fans. And for me to read and hear you guys say that you don't even play Call of Duty anymore, that you haven't played it in two months, that you hate it, that you're not playing it like that much at all anymore, that's kind of pretty much shows you that the direction where the Call of Duty franchise is headed. When you have tons and tons of players that have been lifelong, big-time Call of Duty fans and players that aren't even playing the game anymore, just due to lack of interest, the lack of them not enjoying it anymore, blah, 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 all that good shit but you're not playing it anymore. And that's kind of disappointing, it's kind of sad. I mean, not disappointing and sad that you guys aren't playing it anymore because of shit, like I told you, I'm barely playing it myself. It's just disappointing and sad that that is what Call of Duty has came to. It's just disappointing and sad that that's what the Call of Duty community has has came to, unfortunately. And, you know, I, I get people that tell me all the time that, you know, they always looking for the next, what's gonna be the Call of Duty killer? I hear that so many times in, in the community. I hear that on my channels. People always like, what game is going to be the Call of Duty killer? What game is going to kill Call of Duty? Well, I'm here to tell you that it's not going to happen. There will never be a game that will kill Call of Duty. There is no Call of Duty killer. Many of games have tried. Many have tried. Halo, and I'm a big Halo fan, so I'm not trying to talk shit on Halo. I, I, play, I was a Halo fan before Call of Duty fan. Battlefield, and I like Battlefield as well. I'm a fan of all these games. Destiny, I was a fan of Destiny for a while. But all of these games, all these FPS games, they have tried. They have tried to be the next Call of Duty. They have tried to be a Call of Duty killer. And we all know that the sales numbers did not support that theory. We all know that the player counts did not support that theory. We all know that the lack of anything, publicity, all the shit, people playing the game did not support those theories. So. There will, there is not, and in my opinion, will not be a Call of Duty killer. You see, nothing is going to kill Call of Duty, except for one thing. There is only one thing, and one thing only, that can kill Call of Duty. Just one thing. But before I tell you what that one thing is, this is where the intro started, right here. Mom, get the camera. 
Because <laughs> I'm about to hit him, split him, the double, the triple, the 360 quad no scope. Yeah. Anyway, let's get back on topic. The number one thing and the only thing that can kill Call of Duty, and this is it, is Call of Duty itself. You heard it here first, and it is the truth. The only thing that can kill Call of Duty is Call of Duty itself. But you see, the thing is, is that Call of Duty has already started killing themselves. <laughs> I mean, I talk about this, and I've talked about this before in tons of my videos. Call of Duty has already started to kill itself. And where did that all start? Well, honestly, it all started with Black Ops 2. See, Black Ops 2 was like the last good Call of Duty game. And we all know that. But the thing about Black Ops 2 is that it had a lot of issues, and that's where it all started. See, in Black Ops 2, they really started focusing on bringing in that lag compensation. They started focusing on that. And that right there alone, the lag in this game was and still is terrible. As a matter of fact, the lag in this game is worse now than it ever, ever was. I don't know why. It's probably because they don't update the damn servers. They don't update the game. They don't do patches for the game anymore. But the lag in this game, on, on top of the fact of all the bullshit in the game, which I'm going to go into in my next video, but on top of all the bullshit that's going in this game now after many years of playing it, the lag is worse in this game than it ever was. So everything started going wrong for Call of Duty along this time when Black Ops 2 came out. But then again, a lot of things went right because Black Ops 2 brought a lot of you know stuff to the community that we didn't have before, like the league play system. And that right there propelled the game to, I think, a whole entire new level. But besides of all the things that Black Ops 2 did right, like I said, they did a lot of shit wrong. So that's when Call of Duty started killing itself. And then you get the debacle. The debacle of all time. Call of Duty Ghosts. I mean, I already, you guys already know all the reasons why Call of Duty Ghost sucks, and you already know how I feel about that game, and I already know how you guys feel about that game. But when they came out with Ghost, you know, people were looking for that sequel. They were looking to that next thing from Black Ops 2. They were looking for that next unbelievable game. Like, they had a lot of fun with playing Black Ops 2, but they didn't get that in Call of Duty Ghost. They got a half-ass, broken, fucking stupidity of a game in Ghost. I mean, completely shit, broken game that was and still is never fixed till this day. So then people were like, okay, we went an entire goddamn year not playing Ghost and having to play Black Ops 2 for another year longer because Ghost sucks so bad nobody wanted to play it. So then everybody was like, all right, this next game that comes out is going to be the shit, you know, it's going to be the next big Call of Duty. And then a few months later, Activision dropped that bomb on us, man. They dropped that sledgehammer on us, literally. Because they announced that Sledgehammer Games is going to be making the next Call of Duty and it's going to be called Advanced Warfare. So now to all the fans that are fans of Treyarch titles, we have to wait an an another additional year? So that's two years after the last Treyarch game? We have to wait all the people that were fans of the zombie game mode that Treyarch has on their games? And trust me, there are millions of them that love the zombie mode on Treyarch, and I'm one of them. We have to wait an additional year to play Treyarch zombies? What the fuck were they thinking? I mean, it goes back to my old saying. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. The game wasn't broke. I mean, the game was broke, but their system wasn't broke. One year Infinity War does it, the next year Activision does it. Next year Activision, or I'm sorry, uh, the next year Treyarch does it. Next year Infinity War does it, next year Treyarch does it. Why, did they, why in the hell did they have to bring in a third game developer who already had a shoddy pass from the work they'd done on Modern Warfare 3, which nobody really liked? Why did they have to bring them in? They didn't have to, is the point I'm trying to make. So the only thing that will kill Call of Duty is Call of Duty itself. And they've already started to. Like I said, started in Black Ops 2, they killed themselves a little bit more in Ghost, they killed themselves with Advanced Warfare. But you see, the thing about them is they're not a cat. They don't have nine lives. They've got about three. And they already used a half of one with Black Ops 2. They use another full life with Ghost, and they use another full life with Advanced Warfare. They're on the threads right now, my man. They got a half a life left. They ain't no cat, baby. So if Black Ops 3 sucks, and if Black Ops 3 is going to be not as good as we all think it is, you can kiss Call of Duty goodbye. And the only person to blame for when Call of Duty fails will be Call of Duty itself. For not listening to the community. For not listening to the gamers. For not listening to the YouTubers. For not listening to the people that spend their hard-earned money on your game. You're too busy trying to pad your pockets while all along, if you would have just listened to the people that started to pad your pockets, your pockets would have been fatter than ever. 
So anyway, man, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the intro. I hope you guys enjoyed that 360 no scope, whatever the hell I did. And if you did, please go ahead and leave that thumbs up like on this video. I would really appreciate it. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Tell your friends about me so they can subscribe to my channel. Then you can help a brother out. Anyway, YouTube, this was The Assist Man. And like always, I am out.